we are not only our genes. Well, let me put it this way. Science started to think we are not only our genes. In recent studies, it was suggested that traits we acquire through negative environmental exposures or experiences can leave some chemical marks on our genes. These chemical marks can then be transmitted to next generations, causing them to express the same or very similar traits. Now, this is not genetics per se, but something we acquire on the top of genetics. When I was reading about this, I was wondering if that is true for negative traits. What about acquired positive traits? Can they also be inherited? And luckily, the group where I'm doing my PhD now was wondering the same. I work in a lab where we are trying to design therapies for genetic eye diseases. They are called genetic diseases because they happen when certain genes have mistakes, causing them not to function correctly. These diseases result in a gradual loss of vision and they can also be passed down in families. Although there is no cure yet, there are many therapies in the pipeline and our lab has some of them. Now let me connect what I just told you. My lab and I realized that we could use what we do in our lab to answer my initial question. Are acquired positive traits heritable or not? And here is our plan. First, we have to work with mice that have genetic disease. Second, we will choose the best performing therapy from our lab and administrate it to these mice. Third, we will check if therapy was successful or not by simply checking if these animals can see better than they used to see before. If that turns out to be true, we will check if therapy left some chemical marks on their genes. If yes, we will breed these animals and observe their offspring. Now, main idea in my PhD is to observe if offspring inherited chemical marks from successfully treated parents. In simple words, I want to see if kids inherited some kind of defense against disease from successfully treated parents. If this is true, that means we have much higher responsibility when we are treating individuals because now we will know we are not affecting only one person but many generations to come. If this is not true, I still think it's a good idea to act as if it is.